This changes everything. Gearheart TV is available now. It's the digital TV service delivered to your smart TV or connected devices by Gearheart Broadband. Sign up now at mygtv.com. We're finally got one team on and off, and now we've got the home team out here. Boys, I tell you what, we're going to start scheduling these games for 4.30. Maybe we can get started by 5. It's going. It's almost 5.30. But anyway, it's the Betsy Lane Bobcats coming to town this afternoon. They'll furnish the opposition. <clears throat> Starting lineups here for the Bobcats. Keith Hall will be on the mound here for the Bobcats. He's pitched 36 innings, and boys, he struck out something like 49 in 36 innings, so he's a tough fireballer. Chris Potter plays short, bat second. Adam Gayhart will be the second baseman and bat third. Cleanup hitter, catcher, Darren Gayhart. Barry Clark will play third base and hit fifth. Batting six, Derek Eversole, right field. Seventh hitter, Chris Newsom in left field. Barry Collins will bat eighth and play center field. And Todd Akers will be the first baseman for the homestanding Patriots, Harold Kraft. We'll lead things off here, followed by Chris Hamburgi and Jamie Couch. It's, they're not going to take any more breaks. We're ready to go. Harold will play center field this afternoon. Kraft, Hamburgi, and Couch to be, fired, to be followed by Jason Sloan, the DH. Of course, Kevin Couch not playing again this afternoon. A freak accident in the dugout yesterday afternoon as he stepped on a baseball and turned his ankle. Jarvis Williams <clears throat> will be on the mound for the Patriots, and the first pitch is a ball. Jarvis Williams on the mound for the Patriots. As we said, the first pitch to Keith Hall is a ball. Keith stands in batting left-handed. Here's the 1-0 pitch from Williams. Swung on, popped up on the right side. Jacobs will give a run, but it's going to be out of play. And that'll bring the count to 1-1. Glad you could join us here this afternoon on TV 12. As I said, we, the game time was scheduled for five. But as usual, we always, time everybody gets on the field and gets loose, we're usually around a half an hour late. 1-1 one, one pitch coming. Stays up high. It's 2-1. They say Keith Hall with a 435 batting. Not only can Keith pitch the ball, he also can hit the ball. 2-1. Swung on. Same place. Pull right side up in the bank this time, so it's 2-2. Two, two. <clears throat> the Patriots here last night defeated Buckhorn 7-1, and Monday evening they defeated Delt, so they started the week out here pretty good. 2-2 two, two pitch. Here's a shot to right field, pulled it foul. So Mr. Hall's getting, knocking quite a few baseballs <clears throat> here in the first inning. 2-2, two, two. Jarvis Williams to Keith Hall, the pitcher this afternoon for Betcher Lane. Betcher Lane comes in here with a record of 19-7. Here's 2-2 pitch. Slap right back to Jarvis Williams, and that's one down. Jarvis eased up on that one. And Keith Hall, just a little check swing right back to Jarvis. One down, that'll bring up Chris Potter. The shortstop. Chris, batting 262. Only a freshman. Here's the pitch. Swung on and missed. Jarvis getting out on front here early on Chris Potter. There's the 0-1 pitch. Slap down to third. That's something by him. Gayhart. Amberg, he rather picks it up at short, but he's not going to have time to throw him out. Hard shot in between third baseman and the shortstop Amberg. And Sumner couldn't get it in time. Amberg got over and got it. Wasn't unable to throw him out. So give a hit to Potter. Now to bring up Adam Gayhart to the second baseman. <clears throat> Sumner playing third base this afternoon. Jason Sloan will bat in his turn when we come to bat. Chris Hamburg gets short. Mike Smith at second. Mike Jacobs at first. And Jarvis Hamburg on the mound with Jason with uh, Jamie Couch behind the plate. Here's the pitch. Swung on, hit straight up. 
down left field line. See if they got room to play it. No, Sumner hustled all the way down the line, but unable to make the catch as the ball falls in foul territory. Boy, nice hustle that time by Sumner. Sumner did awful lot of running, and Coach Hammonds is hollering at Chris Amber again. Probably right. Shortstop didn't get the break on the ball that the third baseman did, but good effort that time by Sumner. 0-2 pitch now coming to Potter. Outside, 1-2. Adam Gayhart, second baseman. Potter's short lead over first. Now he's back on the bike. Now he gets off. Williams goes that way, and Potter steps back. One down. We're in top of the first here with Potter at first, and a 1-1 one -one count to Adam Gayhart. We remind you next week, district tournament action here on Channel 12 as we start district tournament action Monday afternoon. Breath it. Riverside on Monday, not counting Jackson City on Tuesday. And they'll go from there. Here's a throw over to first. Back in time. Cordio Wednesday afternoon will play the Breathitt County winner. And, of course, the winner between Knott County and Jackson Tuesday will advance to the final Thursday afternoon. Short lead by Potter. 1-1 one, one pitch coming. Low hits 2-1 to Adam Gayhart. <clears throat> We're back here. Are we back here Saturday afternoon, Wayne, with Pike? If they play it, we'll check. I don't know where the team can cancel it. I think they play Pike Saturday afternoon. We'll check, and we'll let you know tomorrow. Here's the pitch. Swung on foul at the plate. Potter on the move has to go back to first on the foul tip. 2-2 Two -two count now on Adam Gayhart. Jarvis not picking up the guy first. That time he got a big jump. <coughs> 2-2. Two -two. Williams steps back off the mound. Now he's back up on it, and he's ready. 2-2 two -two pitch coming to Adam Gayhart. Williams throws it back over to first. Potter back in in plenty of time. Two-two two pitch. Here it comes. Slap to short and through. Out into left field. Potter a hold up a second. And back to back hits here after one down for Betsy Lane. That'll bring up the cleanup hitter and the catcher, Darren Gayhart. Jeremy Ratliff out in left field for the Patriots here. Harold Kraft in center. And Todd Barker out in right. <coughs> Darren Gayhart's a senior. 293 on the year. <coughs> Runners at first and second now with one down, and Jarvis going to have to bear down. And the dirt, good stop by Jamie Couch. <coughs> After Hall popped back out to Jarvis Williams, the next two is hit the ball between, both of them hit the ball between third and short. That's where we're at now with runners at first and second and one down. 1-0 one -oh pitch. Jarvis turns, fakes back to second. Potter, short lead out of second. Gayhart over at first. Here's the pitch. In the dirt, gets past the catcher. Both runners will move up. Williams bounced the ball about a foot and a half in front of the plate, and Couch was unable to come up with it. Now we're going to have Gayhart at second and Chris Potter over here at third with only one down. <clears throat> two old count to the cleanup hitter during Gayhart, the catcher this afternoon. Here's the two old pitch. Foul swung on and fouled at the plate. Two one. Nice afternoon for a baseball game. 
sun's down. It's not too cool. Right, two one pitch. No, nah, not hot at all. Two one pitch coming. Swung on and missed two two. And boy, Jarvis got that one down low. And Gayhart swung over top of it. <clears throat> it's two two. Runners at second and third. One down here in the top of the first. Here's a two two pitch. Swung on and missed. Strike him out swinging. Two down. As the third baseman, Barry Clark, will be up to bat. Clark, a freshman. And if Jarvis can get this one, well, he's shut down the thread here early. Here's the pitch to Clark. Outside, ball one. <clears throat> Big strike out there on. Darren Gayhart, the cleanup hitter for the Bobcats. Here's the 1 0. Here's a shot out in center field. Harold Crash will drop back and put it away. So two hits in the inning, but no runs, and we've played a half in the inning. No score. your smart home speaker to arm and disarm the system. A full line of cameras for both indoor and outdoor areas. So you can keep an eye on your property no matter where you are. Get an early alert for water leaks before you lose thousands of dollars to expensive flood damage. One easy to use interface for your phone and the slimline touchpad. Enjoy the peace of mind that comes from a professional smart security system. Smart devices make our lives better, but they're also susceptible to hackers. That's why Plume helps identify when a device is acting strange. You mean like talking to itself for no reason? I'm talking to the audience. With us. I'd say they do do a better job than we do. I'd say they don't make as many mistakes. And a few over there behind you see them carrying a sandwich every now and then. All right, we're at the bottom of the first. Harold Kraft, center fielder, will leave things off for the Patriots, followed by shortstop Chris Ambergy and Jamie Couch to catch him about third. Yep, Kevin Couch. Kevin Couch right behind the plate as you get a shot of him right to the left of the catcher there. You see Kevin running the radar gun this afternoon. Keith Hall on the mound for the Bobcats. As we said early, 36 innings pitch. He'd give up 24 hits, and he struck out 49. Walked 23. Here's the pitch. Call strike. And Hall, a senior. Looks like he'll just bring him to you. Nothing fancy. Here's a 0-1. Swung on a missed. It's 0-2. And right quick, Crash is behind. So <laughs> so 0-2 pitch coming to Crash. Here's a pitch. Swung on a missed. And Hall starts things off here in the bottom of the first with a strikeout. Crash wasn't able to catch up with the ball the first turn of bat. Chris Emberg and Ellis stand in. <coughs> Only three pitches at the Kraft. Hall had him out in a hurry. Here's the pitch. High outside. 1 0. -oh. 1 0 -oh pitch. Call strike. Miss 1 1. On the year, Hall's record is 5 and 1. ERA, they got down here is 175, so but that's that's tough. One one, call strike at the knees. It's one two. That's Blair behind the plate, and when them low strikes comes in, it hits him just about eye level. So he's a low strike man. Here's one two pitch, outside two two. Our good buddy Maine is behind the plate. Go, <laughs> 
Here's the 2-2 two -two pitch. Call strike right down the heart of the plate. Back-to-back -back K's here in the bottom of the first. That'll bring up the number three hitter, Jamie Couch, a catcher this afternoon. That's speaking of a good buddy, Manus Blair. Uh, of course, he coaches the girls at Letcher. Uh, I'm sure his wife's tuned in. He's here. He got here late. He didn't get here on time. I'm sure he had to fix us up or something before he left home. She needs to kind of let him get out of home early. If trouble, he's always late to the ball game. Here's a shot down third base line. Foul as Couch tees off on the first pitch. Hall sends his way. <laughs> That's what I felt, yeah. He said to make sure I tell her the time the game goes with so she'll know what time to have him something ready to eat. So that's all Blair does is eat. 0-1 pitch. Out in front of it again. As Amberger hits it over here to the home dugout, and it's 0-2. And boys, Hawes come out tough here in the bottom of the first. Patriots having trouble timing him. 0-2. Couch in the hole. Here's a pitch. Down low. It's 1-2. One, two, to Couch, Jamie Couch, the catcher here this afternoon. Here's a pitch, eased up, hit a third base, single out in the left field. They went by the third baseman, and Hall, a one-two count on Jamie, and he eased up, put him a little off-speed curve, and Jamie was waiting on it and slapped it past the third baseman. First hit of the afternoon here for the Patriots, and that'll bring up the cleanup hitter and designated hitter this afternoon, Jason Sloan. Jason, left-handed swinger. We see some of the fans as they walk down the runway here. Our cameraman, hey, our camera, if there's a good-looking woman around, our cameraman will find him. Here's the pitch. Call strike. I tell you what, we got the best cameraman that anybody would want. Nothing slips by us. <clears throat> yeah, we won't mention his name, but his initials is J.M. Here's a pitch over there. So I'll toss over to first. And Jamie back in in time. Oh, one pitch coming. Nope. Toss back over to first as they think Jamie might want to run, and they are keeping him close over at first. Bottom of the first, no score. Betcha Lane had a threat in the first and inning, second, third, and one down, and unable to score. Now, here goes the Patriots. There goes Couch breaking for second, but foul back by Sloan. Jason under it just to her. As he falls behind 0-2 to Keith Hall. O2 pitch coming to the cleanup hitter, Jason Sloan, this afternoon. Here is the pitch. Eased up. Call strike three. Soul. Hall strikes out the side. We played one. No score. Now's your chance for a great deal on smoke and fast internet from Gearhart Broadband. Upgrade to the smoldering speed you need, up to one gig, and add plume adaptive Wi-Fi to reach every corner of your home. Experience no lag gaming, your favorite music, web surfing, HD video streaming, and connect to the latest smart devices. If you're ready for an upgrade, call or click Gearheart Broadband for a great offer today. We live in a modern, connected world. Your smart home security system should keep pace with your on-the-go life giving you a view of your home and the ability to control what happens at your front door as if you were there. The best deterrent, peace of mind, at home or away. Protect what's important to you. Enjoy the peace of mind that comes from a professional smart security system. Any home can be improved with better Wi-Fi. That's why Gearheart Broadband offers Plume Wi-Fi a reliable signal throughout your home, enhanced by mobile app features. Call or click Gearheart Broadband to learn more. The one, Betsy Lane will send up number six hitter, Dirk Newsom, right fielder, Chris Newsom, the left fielder, and the center fielder, Barry Collins, will be the first three guys to face Jarvis Williams here in the bottom of the second inning. Jarvis got the first batter last inning. <clears throat> Two hits back-to-back. -back. Then he struck out the cleanup hitter. 
and the third baseman flew out to Harold Kripe in the first. Whereas Hall had no trouble with Snot Central bottom of the first. Faced four batters and struck three of them out. Two on call strikes. There's the first pitch to Dirk Newsom. Swung on, foul back. Yep, they probably used to a fastball pitcher and everybody's out early. Drivers don't throw as quick. And if you notice when Knott County's batting at the bottom, of, they wouldn't use someone throwing as fast as Hall was. And they were out in front. Here, the ball slapped out in right field. Barker, a camp under this one, and he'll put it away. Todd Barker records the first out here in the top of the second as Newsom flies that way. That'll bring up Chris Newsom, the left fielder. Here's a pitch high and away. Both halves of car racing starting that. Someone said that <clears throat> they, they ran over at 3 o'clock in the morning. Is that right? No, they didn't. Y'all just stayed out that late. There, 2 old pitch. If I was to go to a car race and come in at 3.30, I'd be shot, boys. Chris Newsom, a senior. Yes, this is Lane Ball Club. They have two freshmen, one junior, and the rest of them is seniors. Veteran Ball Club. 3-1 as Jarvis puts one across. <clears throat> the Chris Newsom, the left fielder. Here it comes again. Down low, ball four, and Jarvis walks his first man this afternoon. <clears throat> so you fellas, did you get kind of cold over Sergeant night to car, car races? Did you get cold to car races, Sergeant? Night? Didn't. Dirty, yeah. Newsom, short lead. Jarvis Williams drives him back. You say you can see the the race this for riding out at eight o'clock. To our special so it's back to back Friday nights, Mountain Motor Speedway car racing here on channel twelve. Pitch into the dirt, blocked by Couch. Now Newsom's gonna go and he's gonna make it. Ball got by Jamie and the time Jamie ran the ball down, Newsom had no trouble coasting in the second. Barry Collins, the center fielder, is a guy standing at the plate. <clears throat> Williams fakes the throw back to second, and Newsom back in plenty of time. Here's the 1 0 pitch to Barry Collins in the dirt. It's 2 0, and Jarvis here in the early going has been short with his pitches. Two old pitch. And Jarvis adjusts his belt buckle there and gets ready. Two old. Down low, it's three old. Jarvis having trouble finding the plate here in the top of the second. One down. Chris Newsom out of second. Here's a pitch. Ball four. Murray have trot on down to first base. Two on now and one down. That'll bring up the number nine, ninth hitter, and first baseman Todd Akers. <coughs> Akers a junior. One fifty one. So not been too tough of a hitter so far this season. Here's a shot out towards second. Mike Smith gives it a hustle, but can't come up with it. Now he'll flip to second to get the force play. Barry Collins had to hold up at first and see if he was going to fall in, and time it fell in, he could not get to second in time. Nice hustle that time by Mike Smith for the Patriots at second base. Two down. We'll go back to the top of the order in Keith Hall. Todd Akers will hang out over at first with Newsom at third. <clears throat> so the home team gets a break on that one. 
Akers gets a short lead over first. He stole three bases on the year, so he's not much of a threat to run. Here is a pitch. Hall slaps it back towards second. Smith with it. He'll flip over the Amber again. That'll do it. We've played an inning and a half. No score. Gearheart Broadband gets solutions for your small business right. Fiber connects you to the cloud with speeds up to one gig with digital voice, the right video solutions, and local support. Make the right call. Gearheart Broadband. Fully wireless sensors mean easy installation without damage from drilling. One app gives you total control over every aspect of your home. The ultimate deterrent for porch pirates know exactly when you receive a delivery. You need security that is a fully integrated security solution, encrypted end-to-end -end and professionally monitored. Enjoy the peace of mind that comes from a professional smart security system. First baseman, Mike Jacobs. Mike Smith, the second baseman, to be followed by left fielder Jeremy Ratliff here in the, the men to face Keith Hall here in this bottom of the second. Knock County's weathered the storm twice. And they've held the Bobcats at bay with no scores. Hall looks in to Gayhart. Here's the pitch in the dirt. Gets by Gayhart. Ball one. Yes, good target. But he gave that in a kind of a wave and a pat. <clears throat> they want anything to do with that one. <clears throat> it's a good thing they don't make gloves up here. Be an unfair advantage. Here's a 1-0 pitch in the dirt. 2-0. Nice eye there by Jacobs. It's, he gave no inclination to swing at either pitch. 2-0 <clears throat> pitch coming from Hall. Foul at the plate. Jacobs out in front and hit on top of the ball and fouled it off the plate. Oh, looking in at Gayhart for the sign. Here's a 2-1 pitch. Slap towards first, down the line. Far ball, Jacobs around first, and he'll come in the second, standing up. Nice shot that time of Jacobs, right in the inside baseline of first base. Jacobs out of second, no one down here as we start the bottom of the second, and they'll send up to second baseman Mike Smith. Look for Mike to bunt him over to third. Mike handles the bat real well. Jacobs short lead at second. Here's the pitch. Inside, ball one. It's good eye by Mike Smith. One old coming to the second baseman, Mike Smith. Inside and low, it's two old. Get a shot of them clouds going overhead here in a minute, see if it don't rain. <laughs> two old pitch. High inside three old. I don't reckon a man can get trouble showing the clouds on the camera good. Hey, 3-0. Coming to Mike Smith with Jacobs out of second. No one down. In the dirt. So on four pitches, Smith walks. That'll bring up the left fielder, Jeremy Rattler. With two on and nobody out. Gayhart goes out and has a few words with Keith Hall. Hall had no trouble in the first inning, faced four guys and struck three of them out. But here in the bottom of the second, the first two has reached Jacobs a double, and now he's walked the second batter, Mike Smith. Job, 
First pitch to Ratliff. Down low ball. Oh, having control problems here in the bottom of the second. Only walked 23 men in 36 innings. Here's the pitch swung on by Ratliff. Slapped down the first base. It's going to fall foul. Jeremy swinging a little bit late, but unable to drop it in fire as the ball went foul about 10, 12 feet. Ratliff comes back. Jacobs back to second, and Smith a drop back into first. One one pitch coming to Ratlow. Swung on, hit straight up, shortstop, going out in the grass. He calls, puts it away. One down here in the bottom of the second. That'll bring up the right fielder, Todd Barker. Jacobs holds on a second. Smith hangs out over at first. Barker, a left-handed swinger. Two on, one down here in the bottom of the second. Pitch high and outside. Coach Hammonds wants time out to talk to his hitter, Barker. Well, they've done a lot of work here in the last couple weeks, putting down new sod around the dugouts, getting ready for tournament next week. I'd say Gary Hammonds could go somewhere and give him a job as a groundskeeper, don't you? Buddy, I tell you what, he can use a hoe, rake, shovel, it doesn't matter. But I bet you can get him in the kitchen and he's scared to death of a dish or eat with uh, you got him doing kind of mopping or anything, don't you? Strictly an outdoorsman, Gary Hammonds is. Here's a pitch outside. It's 2-0. Todd Barker, right fielder for the Patriots here this afternoon as Jacobs gets a short lead at second. Here's a 2-0 pitch right down the middle. 2-1. Barker looked at that one. On, 2-1. Look for the runner to be off here. 2-1 pitch. Foul tip. Catcher hung on to it. It's 2-2. As Barker just got a piece of that one. Two two, coming to Barker. Here's a pitch by Hall. Call strike as a curve drops in. Now to bring up Jarvis Williams, the number nine hitter with two on and two out. The Patriots got their first two runners on here. But Ratliff and Barker are unable to advance them. Williams are trying now. Hall been throwing mostly speed, and he came in with an off-speed curve that time, and it broke right across the plate. Here's a pitch. Call strike. Hall looks in at Gayhart, gets his sign. Here's the pitch. Foul at the plate as Jarvis Williams thought about laying one down, then changed his mind, and the ball hit the bat. A little indecision there at the time on Jarvis's part. He's in the hole now, 0-2. Here's the 0-2 pitch. Runners going. High ball. Jacobs in the third with a stolen base. Mike Smith asleep over at first. The pitch low. Ball will be 1-2. So Jacobs still third. So now it'll be first and third.
Here goes Smith now for second, but Williams swung on a miss. Strike three, two strikeouts in this inning. That's five in the first two innings. We played two, no score. <laughs> oh, you're not gonna believe this. What's going on? The neighbors got hacked again. Weird, we never get hacked. Nope, no we don't. Now's your chance for a great deal on smoke and fast internet from Gearhart Broadband. Upgrade to the smoldering speed you need, up to one gig, and add Plume adaptive Wi-Fi to reach every corner of your home. Experience no lag gaming, your favorite music, web surfing, HD video streaming, and connect to the latest smart devices. If you're ready for an upgrade, call or click Gearhart Broadband for a great offer today. With families spending more time at home together this year, it's a great time to level up your internet for the speed and Wi-Fi you need to power game consoles and computers at peak performance. Call or click Gearheart Broadband to upgrade. We'll lead the top of the third off. Jarvis Williams starts him off with a strike. It'll be the number two hitter, Potter. Adam Gayhart, second baseman, the bat third, and the cleanup hitter, Darren Gayhart, to face Jarvis Williams here as a... Second pitch is outside, 1-1. One, one. First time up, Potter with the base hit. Here's a 1-1 one, one pitch. It's low, it's 2-1. Two, 2-1 one pitch now coming from Williams. Swung on and foul tip, couch hung on to it, it's 2-2. Two, two. As Potter tried to get up in front of the plate, the diamond out in front of it. Two-two pitch coming from Williams. We in the top of the third, no score. Swung on, foul back, just a piece of it as Potter hangs in there. Cow to retrieve the ball, flip it back to Williams. Jarvis Williams, a seventh grade left-hander on the mound this afternoon. 2-2 Two -two pitch coming again. He's that punted and got it across. Strike three. Boy, Jarvis, he's up on him that time, and boy, broke out and right across the outside of the plate. That's a second strikeout on the afternoon for Jarvis. I see his dad just walked up on the hill and sat down a big grin year to year. I'm sure he'll take credit for all that talent that boy's got out there. One down, Adam Gayhart the batter. First pitch is high and away. Adam Gayhart the second baseman this afternoon. He got a single between third and short in the first inning. Here's the pitch. Slapped out in left field. Ratliff right there, put it away. Two down here right quickly. And a butt top of the third for the Bobcats. And that'll bring up the cleanup hitter, Darren Gayhart. In the first inning, Darren struck out. He was the first strikeout for Jarvis Williams. He's had four home runs on the year, so he's got power. 293 hitter. Here's the pitch. In the dirt, I say over in Floyd County where he hits these home runs, he's not, they don't have a field this spacious. Good eye. 13 walks on the year. One old pitch coming. Swung on a miss, and boy, Darren was way out in front of that one. He was trying for the Rocks up there on left field, but unable to connect. 1-1. One, one. There's a pitch. Swung on and missed. It's 1-2. And boys, right now, Williams has got Gayhart's number. I think he wants to kind of dislodge some more of them rocks out there in left field where he's swinging at that ball. Here's a 1-2. Swung on and missed. Third strike out of the afternoon. We played two and a half. No score from the baseball field. Sharing a big family moment. Working hard from home. 
relaxing with a friend. Welcome to life in the broadband age, where reliable internet has never been more important. Gearheart Broadband keeps your family connected with consistent speeds up to one gig and plume adaptive Wi-Fi. Make sure your home's ready for life in the broadband age. Call our local service team or visit Gearheart Broadband online to learn more. Use your smart home speaker to arm and disarm the system. A full line of cameras for both indoor and outdoor areas. So you can keep an eye on your property no matter where you are. Get an early alert for water leaks before you lose thousands of dollars to expensive flood damage. One easy to use interface for your phone and the slimline touchpad. Enjoy the peace of mind that comes from a professional smart security system. We go to the bottom of the third, top of the order for the Patriots. And the bottom of the third here will be Harold Kraft, followed by Chris Amberge and Jamie Couch. No score. The Bobcats and the Patriots here this afternoon. First time through the order, Hall faced the nine in two innings. He faced the nine batter, and he struck out five of them. Gave up two hits. <clears throat> Not bad, first two innings for them. Keith Hall. Craft back in, trying to redeem himself from a strikeout in the first inning. Swung on and missed. Craft unable to make up his mind in time. It looked like he hesitated, and by the time he took a notion of swing, the ball was already banged. It's 0-1. <clears throat> in the dirt, good out that time by Kraft, it's 1-1. One, one. Boys, are you all gonna go try to hunt some umbrellas? It's no good over the station. 1-1, one, one. in the dirt, 2-1. Leading off the bottom of the third here. We have no score. Here's a pitch. Swung on and missed. 2-2. Two -two. I don't know what he's throwing, but he's getting up there in a hurry. Here's a 2-2 two -two pitch coming to Kraft. Fouled at the plate. Still 2-2. Two -two. Halls give up nine earned runs in seven games. And has to give up any home runs. There's 2-2 two -two pitch again. In the dirt, 3-2. Kraft did not have offer after that one in the dirt. Here's the 2-2 two -two again. Swung on and missed by Kraft. Six struck out on the afternoon for Hall. <clears throat> and was Hall's not bringing nothing but heat. That's all he's bringing here. Chris Amberge up to bat now with one down. Chris also struck out in the first inning. Here's a pitch high. The ball stayed up. One old pitch coming. It's low. Two old. Get out of there by Chris. Is he? That nibble at either pitch. Two old now coming from Hall. Outside it's three old. Three old pitch. Hall has a walk to anyone the first two innings. Run one, three, two count. There's the pitch. Call strike. Three one. Amberg, you might have token swing at that one. Call strike two. Full count. So after Hall fell behind 3-0, he's come back with two call strikes. Run it full. Here's the three two pitch. Swung on and missed, and for the second time, Ambergy strikes out. 
seven strikeouts. And two and two thirds here for Hall. Now to bring up Jamie Couch. Jamie had the first hit off the of Hall here in the first inning as he slept a single back up the middle. Here's a pitch fouled off to the right as Couch hit it off the end of the bat. And I mean right at the end of the bat as he looks down and makes sure the plastic end is still in the bat. Oh, one pitch coming. Tap out in front of the plane. Hall will get it. He'll twill deal the first in time. We played three, no score. Gearheart Broadband gets solutions for your small business. Right. Fiber connects you to the cloud with speeds up to one gig with digital voice, the right video solutions, and local support. Make the right call. Gearheart Broadband. Fully wireless sensors mean easy installation without damage from drilling. One app gives you total control over every aspect of your home. The ultimate deterrent for porch pirates. Know exactly when you receive a delivery. You need security that is a fully integrated security solution. Encrypted end-to-end -end and professionally monitored. Enjoy the peace of mind that comes from a professional smart security system. <laughs> oh, you're not going to believe this. What's going on? The neighbors got hacked again. Weird. We never get hacked. Nope. No, we don't. All right. We go to the top of the fourth. The number five hitter, Clark, will be followed by Derek Newsom and Chris Newsom here facing Jarvis Williams. No score so far in the first three innings. Betsy Lane, the first two innings had a little two on, one down attempt to score, but the Patriots so far have, in the first inning, they only got one hit and three strikeouts in the second inning. First two was on, and that was as far as they got. And the final struck out two. And in the third inning, I struck out two of the three he faced. Here's a pitch to Barry Clark in the dirt, ball one. As a, as a team, Betsy Lane's batting 306, but the opposition's only batting 240 against them, so you can see why the way Hall's striking them out here this afternoon. Pitch is high and away, it's 2-0. Made, or, but the Bobcats have made 74 errors on a year, and the team they've played against opposition has made 84 as a call strike to Barry Clark. There's a 2-1 pitch coming. Outside, it's 3-1. In the first inning, Clark flew out to Kraft in center field to end the first inning. 3-1 pitch coming from Williams. Foul tip, 3-2. Probably ball four. Clark swung out there. Hey, 289 team ERA is pretty good ERA. Tough ball club. Here's a pitch, swung on. Foul back overhead. Williams will get a new ball, and he'll get ready to give another 3-2 pitch to Barry Clark. Bobcats average giving up a little over two runs a game, and they average a little over five herself. There's a full count. Slap to center field. Kraft on his horse, but he'll run this one down. One down. And that'll bring up the right fielder, Dirk Newsom. To start the second inning off, he flew out to right field. Barker put that one away. Here's the pitch outside. Dirk Newsom. Eighth grader. Mm-hmm. 
pretty good batting average for eighth grader, 324. If he looks at ball two, it stays high. Two old pitch coming. Ball three. If it stays outside. Here's the pitch. Ball four. Dirk Newsom draws the walk. With one down, that'll bring up the left fielder, Chris Newsom. Chris uh, on with the base on balls in the second inning. Flip over to first, and New Derek Newsom back in plenty of time. Here's the pitch home. Call strike to Chris Newsom. One on, one out here in the Top of the fourth, no score, Bobcats and Patriots. Here's a flip over to first. Dirk back in plenty of time. As Jarvis was a little lazy throw over to first, nothing on it. Just a little reminder, to tell him, Dirk, he knows he's over there. 0-1 pitch coming home. Swung on a miss, runner going, throw down in plenty of time. Oh, he dropped the ball. Ball there in plenty of time, but when Dirk slid in, he knocked the ball out of Mike Smith's glove. Pitch was a call strike to Chris Newsom. And Dirk just knocked the glove, knocked the ball out of Mike Smith's glove with his foot as he slid into second base. So 0-2 now coming with Newsom out of second, one down. Outside, it's 1-2. Chris thought about it, but held up. One two pitch coming. Wheel fake back to second and Runners back in in plenty of time. One two pitch. Foul at the plate. Yeah, to stay one two. Have you ever noticed the only time Coach Dixon comes around when he's done got his food ate? You don't say he'd sit down there while I go and eat till he couldn't, and then when the food's gone, here he comes up the ladder. One two pitch. Runner at second, one down here in the top of the fourth. So I'm going to pop straight up. Jacobs at first base says, I have it. And he'll put it away for the second out in the inning. Got to bring up Barry Collins, the center fielder. Collins, base on balls in the second inning. We got we got an invisible employee. If you could have an invisible guy in the backfield on the football team, it'd be tough, wouldn't you? Give us time, we'll figure it out. <clears throat> Here's the pitch outside. Throw down and close, but back in in time. Coach Holland told him you better get down and slide. The play was a lot closer than what we anticipated to start with. His couch came up throwing. And Dirk County walks back in the second base. Pitch now coming to Barry Collins. Stays high. 2-0. Two down. Runner at second. No score. We're in the top of the fourth. Bob catch from Betsy Lane. Given opposition here this afternoon to the homestanding Patriots. Here's a pitch. One hopper towards short. There's Amberge. He'll flip over to first, not in time. As Sumner went for it, he couldn't get it. And when Amberge come in and pick it up, he fell over Sumner and was unable to cut him down at first. So let's give him a hit on that one and send Dirk Newsom over here to third. Two on now and two down. That'll bring up Todd Akers. 
Akers popped up to the catcher to end the to make the second out there in the second inning. Over here is Newsom at third, short lead. But the flip goes to first where Collins is back in in time. Todd Akers looking for the first pitch. Here it comes. Slot down to third, hits the bag, fair ball. Sumner up with it, unable to do anything with it, and a run will score. Newsom will score the first round of the game. Boy, the shot down the third baseline, hit the bag, and went straight up in the air. And time it came down, Brian Sumner had nowhere to go with it. Back to the top of the order and Hall. Two down, one in and two on here in the top of the fourth. Hall can help his own calls here. Here's a shot towards first. Now Smith will get it to second. He'll flip to Jacobs in time. One run in in here in the inning. We've played three and a half. Betsy Lane out on top, one zip. Sharing a big family moment, relaxing with a friend. Welcome to life in the broadband age. Gearheart Broadband keeps your family connected with consistent speeds and plume Wi-Fi. Call or go online to learn more. This changes everything. Gearheart TV is available now. It's the digital TV service delivered to your smart TV or connected devices by Gearheart Broadband. Sign up now at mygtv.com. More than ever, we're all living online right now. It's one more reason using online account management from Gearheart Communications just makes sense. Visit ecare.gearheart.com to sign up so you can pay your bill, review your statements, or set up worry-free automatic payments, all without leaving your home. Make life a little easier. Online account management from Gearheart Broadband. Sign up today at ecare.gearheart.com. We go to the bottom of the fourth. The Patriots trail by one now, and they'll send up Jason Sloan, the DH. Mike Jacobs, the first baseman, and Mike Smith, second baseman here, facing Keith Hall. One hit, what the Patriots have, and that's in Jamie Couch. One hit and one walk, and the rest of them have been strikeouts, except for a fly out by Jamie Couch to end the third. First pitch, call strike to Jason Sloan. Jason struck out to end the inning in the first. Call strike. There's a 1-1 one -one pitch from Hall to Sloan. Curve breaks over. It's 1-2. There's the 1-2 pitch. Call strike three, and boys, I'll tell you what. I've seen a lot of teams this year, but these boys take more third strike pitches than anybody I've seen. They probably think the guy behind the plate is going to give them the benefit of the doubt. But boys, they just, that, when you got two strikes on you, you got to protect that plate. Here's the first baseman in Jacobs. First pitch is the ball. First time up, Mike lined a double down the first base line just inside of the first base. Bang. Here's a sh pitch. Shot back to the pitcher. One hopper, he'll wheel. Throw to first. Oh, the first baseman. And Jacobs will turn and go into second. And Keith Hall that time, just a one hopper, just turned and nonchalantly flipped it. And it went about two feet over the first baseman's head. Sometimes the easiest plays is the hardest plays to make. So a break here for the Patriots as Jacobs ends up at second. And only one down, that'll bring up Mike Smith. Mike walked in the second inning. Jacobs, a short lead out of second. Here's the pitch. To Smith, it's ball inside. Hey. 
1-0 pitch coming to Smith. Jacobs, three-step lead out of second. Here's the pitch. Call strike. It's 1-1. One, one. If he can get around the pull one, the big gap is between third and short with the shortstop trying to hold Jacobs on out there at second. Wheel throw back. Hits Jacobs. Ball goes into left field, but not far enough for Jacobs to advance. If if you want to slow down the guy second, hit him with the ball. It will slow things down. One one to count to Smith. One down here in the bottom of the fourth. Jacobs on at second. Patriots trail by one, trying to get even here. Foul tip at the plate by Smith. It's one two. Where'd that sun go to, boy? It went down. It got dark. It sneaked off, and you didn't get a picture of it, did you? <clears throat> Here's a one-two pitch coming to Smith. Jacobs leading out second. Swung on, fouled up out of play. As Hall eased up, and Smith just got a piece of it. Some fans up on the bank there. Made a pretty good little catch. It'll be a one-two pitch coming again to Mike Smith. Here's a pop-up. Shortstop back out right to the edge of the grass. He'll put it away for the second out. That'll bring up Jeremy Ratliff, the left fielder. First time up in the second inning, he popped out the shortstop. Jacobs still out at second. Now they're two down. Hall steps off the mound. Jacobs drops back into second. Jacobs by the three, four step lead now out at second. Here's the pitch in the dirt. Ratliff takes ball one. One old pitch coming. In the dirt, good block there by Gayhart. It's 2-0. Count to Jeremy Ratliff with Jacobs out second. The Patriots trail by one here in the bottom of the fourth. Here's the pitch. Swung on, foul back. Ratliff out in front of that one. Got a small piece of it. Patriots having trouble here in the early going. Timing Keith Hall. Side three one. Good out that time by Ratliff. Ratliff three one count with Jacobs out of second. The Patriots trail by one, trying to draw even here in the fourth. Here's a shot right back to the pitcher. Hall makes the putt out. Jeremy Ratliff got a lot on that one, but he's right back to the pitcher. We've played four and it's one nothing. Betcha Lane over the, the Patriots. Sharing a big family moment, working hard from home, relaxing with a friend. Welcome to life in the broadband age, where reliable internet has never been more important. Gearheart Broadband keeps your family connected with consistent speeds up to one gig and plume adaptive Wi-Fi. Make sure your home's ready for life in the broadband age. Call our local service team or visit Gearheart Broadband online to learn more. Use your smart home speaker to arm and disarm the system. A full line of cameras for both indoor and outdoor areas. So you can keep an eye on your property no matter where you are. Get an early alert for water leaks before you lose thousands of dollars to expensive flood damage. 
one easy to use interface for your phone and the slimline touchpad. Enjoy the peace of mind that comes from a professional smart security system. We go to the fifth. Bet you laying out on top one zip. As in the top of the fourth, they're able to push one across. They'll send up the number two batter, Chris Potter, followed by Adam Gayhart and the cleanup hitter, Darren Gayhart, the catcher. Jarvis Williams still out on the mound for the Patriots. Chris Potter, base hit the first inning and struck out in the third. Here's the pitch. Swung on, hit straight up. First baseman calls for it and he'll put it away. As Mike Jacobs makes that catch. One pitch and one down here in the top of the field. See if you can catch the name on that ball that goes through here when the driver, before he gets to the catcher's mitt, see if you can catch the name of it. We can tell if he's throwing a curveball or not. All right, here's the pitch. Inside, ball one. Yeah. 1-0 -oh pitch. Swung on, pops straight up. Sumner, third base, will call for this one. And he'll put it away. Two down right quickly here in the field. Three pitches and two down. And both hitters, is the Jarvis has got the ball in on both hitters, and they've popped it up. Cleanup hitter, Gayhart, he's been up twice, first and the third, and struck out both times. Here's a pitch inside ball. <laughs> One old pitch coming. Jarvis eased up on it. It stayed outside. It's 2 0. -oh. 2 0 -oh pitch coming in the dirt. 3 0. -oh. So after. Jarvis, the first three pitches, he got two outs. He sold three balls in a row here to the cleanup hitter, Darren Gayhart. Go, Jarvis. Go, Jarvis. Here's the pitch. Ball four. Go, Jarvis. Got two. Three. That's the third base on balls. The game by Williams, issued by Williams. Had to bring up the third baseman, Barry Clark. In the first and in the fourth, he's popped out to Harold Craft in center field. Uh, both attempts. We don't look for Gayhart to run from first. Here's a pitch, high and inside. That's a five balls in a row. Jarvis is throwing towards home plate. Here's a pitch, swung on, hit straight up. Mike Smith calls for it. He'll go out, called off by Amberg, and he'll put it away. We played four and a half. The Bobcats over the Patriots, one nothing. Any home can be improved with better Wi-Fi. That's why Gearheart Broadband offers Plume Wi-Fi, a reliable signal throughout your home, enhanced by mobile app features. Call or click Gearheart Broadband to learn more. Now's your chance for a great deal on smoke and fast internet from Gearhart Broadband. Upgrade to the smoldering speed you need, up to one gig, and add Plume Adaptive Wi-Fi to reach every corner of your home. Experience no lag gaming, your favorite music, web surfing, HD video streaming, and connect to the latest smart devices. If you're ready for an upgrade, call or click Gearhart Broadband for a great offer today. Bottom of the fifth coming up here. The Patriots come calling with Barker, Williams, and back to the top of the order in Craft. Barker came up to bat in the second inning and struck out. Eight strikeouts here in the first four innings by Keith Hall. 
Go Hawks! Been kind of a lackadaisical ball game, has it? Nobody's not. You not hear much cheering on both sides. Ball players not had that much action out there. Kind of a quiet game. Oh, looks in the gay heart. Here's the first pitch to Barker. In the dirt. Comes a 1-0 pitch to Barker. Call strike. This 1-1. And it's about time for our cameraman to go back and eat, get something to eat. I thought so. 1-1 one, one pitch. Curveball across, and it's 1-2. Call a TV timeout and go get something to eat. Sounds like a win. There's a 1-2 pitch. Call strike three. As Barker looked at it. Williams now come up to bat as one down here in the bottom of the fifth. Williams looked at a call third strike in the second inning also. Go dark. Get out of that hole. Get up to the plate. There you go. Let's go grab him now. Here's a pitch. Swung on and missed. Williams way out in front of that one. Grab it hard, son. Grab it hard. There's a 0-1 pitch inside, 1-1. One, one. We get a shot there. If our cameraman will kind of wake up and get a shot there of Hall's left knee, you can look at He's getting down real low, and that ball's staying down low. You see how dirty his knee is. 1-1 one, one pitch, down low, it's 2-1. His left knee there, you can tell him all the dirt on, the, on his front of his knee there. 2-1 pitch. Call strike. It's 2-2. Two, two. You can see him as he comes off the mound, drags that knee down across the ground. See, look there it is. His right, right knee is clean. Look at his left knee to dirt. 2-2 two, two pitch. Swung on, miss. Strike three. Tenth strike out of the game. For Hall, we'll go back to the top of the order and craft. Craft. In the first and third, struck out both times up. We at the bottom of the fifth, and the Bobcats on top one zip as they pushed one across in the top of the fourth. Here's a shot to second base. Second baseman fumbles it, ups with it, and gets it across and out by a half a step. Craft hustling down the line, and he was a half a step short. We've played five. The Bobcats still on top of the Patriots, one nothing. This changes everything. Gearheart TV is available now. It's the digital TV service delivered to your smart TV or connected devices by Gearheart Broadband. Sign up now at mygtv.com. More than ever, we're all living online right now. It's one more reason using online account management from Gearheart Communications just makes sense. Visit ecare.gearheart.com to sign up so you can pay your bill, review your statements, or set up worry-free automatic payments, all without leaving your home. Make life a little easier. Online account management from Gearheart Broadband. Sign up today at ecare.gearheart.com. With families spending more time at home together this year, it's a great time to level up your internet for the speed and Wi-Fi you need to power game consoles and computers at peak performance. Call or click Gearheart Broadband to upgrade. Only run of the game. First pitch is the ball as he walked. Stole second, will come around a third. On Collins is forced out and Todd Akers knocked him in. 1-0 pitch coming to Derek Newsom. He tried to lay a bunt down. It's popped up behind the catcher and against the screen. 1-1. One, one. Oh. 
I think we need to send our cameraman or somebody to get us something to eat, don't you? I'm sure. What? There's a shot out in center field. Craft an angle to the left and put it away. One down here in his six. Now to bring up Chris Newsom. Let's see if we can't find some money here and go get us something to eat. Boys, just holler at him. What do you want to eat there? You sure? What about you out there, cameraman? There's a pitch. Hi. It's Chris Newsom, the left fielder. Takes the first pitch. Be fine. There's a 1-0 pitch. Stays up high. It's 2-0. Way in the top of the sixth. Bobcats out on top of the Patriots. 1-0. Swung on, foul back. As Chris Newsom just got a piece of that one. 2-1. One. <laughs> Son, you're supposed to bite in the hamburgers, not bite your lip. <clears throat> 2-1 pitch. Williams to Chris Newsom. Here it comes. Stays high, 3-1. Williams has walked two here this afternoon. 3 1 pitch. Swung on. Foul straight back. Out of play. Out of run. That count to full. On the left fielder, Chris Newsom. Comes the 3 2 pitch. Hit down to third, but it's foul. As Williams got the ball in on Newsom, Newsom able to fight it off down the foul line here at third base. Full count pitch coming again. Outside ball four. Boys, he took off before that one was called, but the official agrees. That'll bring up the number eight hitter, Barry Collins. Barry walked in the second and single in the fourth. One down, one on here in the top of the sixth. Patriots trail by one. To the Bobcats from Betsy Lane. Throw over to first. Eric Newsom back in plenty of time. Jarvis County hesitated that time. He almost got a balk called on him. He, he raised up and hesitated before he threw the first. That was real close. Here's the throw home. Ball stays high. To Barry Collins, the center fielder. One old pitch coming. Call strike, and it's 1-1. One, one. Newsom faked the goal from first, but stayed around. Barry Collins, the center fielder here this afternoon for the Bobcats at the plate. 1-1 one, one pitch, and they'll throw to first. Dirk back in plenty of time. Jarvis is treading on close waters there with the ball. Real close. 1-1 one, one pitch, outside, 2-1. Williams up on the mound. Newsom gets a short lead at first. Williams steps off, and Newsom will walk back in the first. 2-1 count to Barry Collins. One out, one on here in the top of the sixth. Here's the pitch home. Newsom breaks for second. Swung on a miss. Throw down. And not in time as Newsom slides under the tag. So one down. And Newsom now second. The count 2-2 two -two to Barry Collins. Second stolen base on afternoon here for the Bobcats. 
Here's the pitch. Down goes Collins as the ball was high in, in tight. Had to run the count to 3 2. Three two pitch. Shot down third baseline. Fur. He says foul. The home says foul. Looked like it went right across the plate. But the guy at home said he went foul. <laughs> so we'll go back three two again. And boy from from up here where we sit, it looked like it went right across the heart of the plate. But of course we got an angle here. And the coach says it was about a half an inch foul, and the official says it's about a Eight to ten inches foul. So his words always last. Look in the scorebook, see if it ain't a foul ball. They never change their mind. Full count pitch. Skip rope, does Barry Collins. Ball four. So we have runners at first and second now with one down. That'll bring up Todd Akers. Todd has the only RBI of the afternoon as he was able to single in Derek Newsom in the fourth inning. Here's the pitch, high and outside, ball one. Jarvis acts like he's getting a little bit tired. You can tell the ball staying up. New summit second, Collins out at first. One down here in the top of the sixth. Here's a 1-0 pitch, swung on, foul straight back. 1-1, Patriots. Trail by one here. Catcher Jamie Cowles going out to talk to his pitcher Jarvis Williams. Get a shot of them two there on the mound. You've got a senior talking to a seventh grader, and you see he had his full attention. second runners one down here's the pitch inside two one on Todd Akers big inning here for the hometown of hometown of Patriots they need to hold them here if they want to come back and make the game close they can't give up another run here we're only in the top of the sixth but Second run is hard to come by. Especially the way Hall's been pitching. Ball outside, the whip down to the second, not in time. The count runs 3-1 on Akers. See no one getting loose for the Patriots, so Coach Hammonds is going to stick with his seventh grader, Williams. There's a slap to third. Sumner with it. He'll go to third, tag to base, across the field, double play. Beautiful play that time by Sumner here at third. Double play ends the top of the sixth. We played five and a half, and the Patriots still trail one nothing. modern connected world your smart home security system should keep pace with your on-the-go life giving you a view of your home and the ability to control what happens at your front door as if you were there the best deterrent peace of mind at home or away protect what's important to you Enjoy the peace of mind that comes from a professional smart security system. Sharing a big family moment, relaxing with a friend. Welcome to life in the broadband age. Gearheart Broadband keeps your family connected with consistent speeds and plume Wi-Fi. Call or go online to learn more. In between bats, we're here at the baseball field. We, yeah, having a JTM burger here between innings. 
don't have no KFC this afternoon. We'll go to the bottom of the six. Chris Hamburg, you'll lead things off for the Patriots. Ball's inside. Hamburg, you struck out two times this afternoon. Here's a shot back to the pitcher. Hall will turn, flip it to first, and again it's over. First baseman's head, but he comes down with this one. First baseman looks at him and kind of grins. Hall doesn't have trouble coming home with it. It's when he eases up and throws it slow is when he's got problems controlling it. No, that split finger won't go towards first, right? Couch stands in to swing it now with one down. Shot down the third base line foul. Couch, uh, base hit in the first and hit back to the pitcher in the third. Most of the time this afternoon, the ones that Hall has not struck out, they've bounced back to him. Ten strikeouts on the net. Call strike, and it's 0-2 to Jamie Couch, the catcher this afternoon for the Patriots. So old two pitch, swung on and missed by a catch, and that's number 11 K's on the afternoon. Two down here in the bottom of the six. Bring up the designated hitter, Jason Sloan, and Jason hasn't had no luck this afternoon against Hall either. Two K's. The uh, umpire arguing with Gary Hammonds and arguing with Gary like arguing with a woman. You can't win. Here's the pitch. Swung on and missed by Sloan. Here's the 0 1 pitch in the dirt. It's 1 1. Patriots trail the Bobcats here. 1 0. As the Bobcats able to push one across in the fourth. The Patriots have yet to push one across. Ball inside, and it's 2-1 to the DH. Jason Sloan this afternoon here. Boy, a nice defensive play by Sumner there to end to top of the sixth. It's 3-1 now to Sloan. Paul looks in at Gayhart. Here comes the 3-1 pitch. Foul at the plate. It's 3-2. Full count coming to the D8 this afternoon for the Patriots. Jason Sloan win the top of the sixth. Here's a pitch. Swung on a foul back off the catcher's mask. I like the old catcher there for basic lane. He wasn't about to run after that ball. He must have been used to Turley calling. So we'll go the 3-2 pitch again. Here's the pitch. Call strike three. That's 12 on the afternoon. We've played six. Patriots still trail the Bobcats one zip. Use your smart home speaker to arm and disarm the system. A full line of cameras for both indoor and outdoor areas. So you can keep an eye on your property no matter where you are. Get an early alert for water leaks before you lose thousands of dollars to expensive flood damage. One easy to use interface for your phone and the slimline touchpad. Enjoy the peace of mind that comes from a professional smart security system. This changes everything. Gearheart TV is available now. It's the digital TV service delivered to your smart TV or connected devices by Gearheart Broadband. Sign up now at mygtv.com. Patriot Trail by one. We'll remind you right after the ball game here, probably be about 15, 20 minutes if we don't go into extra innings. Stay tuned for, instead of news at 7, it'll be news around 7.30. Roger Fannin will have all the late-breaking daily news here. Let's hope we can get them out here and get two in the bottom. At the top of the order, come up for Betsy Lane. That's Hall, Potter, and Adam Gayhart. The nope, the, neither team has hit the ball hard. 
Here's the first pitch inside. Hall skips a little rope. Ball one. <clears throat> you got any special things going on sports this afternoon? In the dirt, 2-0. Uh -uh. No horseshoe match or dog races or nothing like that. Oh, by the way, I just met 2-0 pitch. In the dirt, 3-0. Uh, your pick was like my pick for the Kentucky Derby. I think it's still running. I don't. Mine's still running. Hopefully, be back in time for the next race. So Jarvis behind 3-0 here, right quick to the leadoff hitter, Keith Hall. There's a pitch, call strike, and it's 3-1. Jarvis has pitched a dandy ball game here this afternoon. His teammates just not give him any offensive support. 3-1 pitch. Swung on, hit down the first. Jacobs with it. He'll go over and tag the base. One down here in the top of the seventh. You know, the two hits that the Bobcats have, they was one to third here, knocked down by Sumner. And remember the shortstop came in and him and Sumner run, run together and the run scored. So there's not been a ball hit out in the outfield as that has fell in for a base hit against Williams. A walk and a little mix up here between third and short. Allowed a run to score. This one hangs high. But we've seen these Patriots, the last two ball games we've had on the air here, they came back in the bottom of seventh and went ahead. Here's a shot out into left field. Rattler will track it down, put it away. <clears throat> the last two times we've had them here, they come back against Jenkins with five in the bottom, tied it up and won it in the eighth. And uh, who was it? Johnson Central. They played a dandy ball game, Clay County. They's <clears throat> I think we just bring them good luck these when we come out here and do them on TV and bottom of the seventh third down. They always make a good comeback. Here's a shot out in the left field. Had a drop in for a single by Adam Gayhart. Uh, Jeremy Ratliff gets it back in right quickly. One on and two out here in the top of the seventh. They only hold, they keep these extra inning games just for when you and I show up. <coughs> Cleanup hitter, Darren Gayhart will be up to bat. He struck out in the first, struck out in the third, and walked in the field. What do you think about Woods taking Rozier to Louisville? Jarvis steps up. You know, if you don't know the score and you're down three and you score two, I can understand when you think you just throw 30 miles to Louisville. You know, it makes a lot of sense. Inside, that's right. You don't know. They might have flew down there. They might have. It took, it took them 10 minutes. They figured it's not many miles down there. 1-1 one, one pitch coming to Gayhart, cleanup hitter. Here's a shot to short. I'm arguing with it. Flips to Smith. We played six in the height. We go to the bottom of seventh. The Patriots need one to get even. With families spending more time at home together this year, it's a great time to level up your internet for the speed and Wi-Fi you need to power game consoles and computers at peak performance. Call or click Gearhart Broadband to upgrade. Fully wireless sensors mean easy installation without damage from drilling. One app gives you total control over every aspect of your home. The ultimate deterrent for porch pirates. Know exactly when you receive a delivery. You need security that is a fully integrated security solution. Encrypted end-to-end -end and professionally monitored. Enjoy the peace of mind that comes from a professional smart security system. Oh, some of the best pickle corn that this state and this county has ever seen. 
We go to the bottom of the seventh. Home team comes calling down one. They wanted to get even. And you say the food's in the kitchen at? At the TV station. Let's just hope something's over there when we get over there. It's the best pickle corn that this county's ever seen. But a hit is good. I figured Liam would put away, but I guess he's not put all of it away. Jacobs will lead it off, be followed by Smith and Ratliff here in the bottom of the seventh. Hall struck out 12 on the afternoon. Ball gets loose in the outfield. Here they get it in. <clears throat> we remind you, stay tuned straight after the game here on Channel 12. It's 7 o'clock news with Roger Fannin. The late breaking happenings here in the county and across the state. First pitch, ball one to Jacobs. One old pitch. Here the shot to center. Get a ball in there for six. By the center four, and he'll go to the fence. Here comes Jacobs turning second. He should come to third. Yes, he's coming on third, and he'll stand up right here at third base. And Jacobs leads off the inning here with a single on a two-base honor by the center fielder. As Barry Collins just let that ball get back. Center fielder there got his head down in a he or two. I mean, in the position he's in right now, if he just waits, the coach will go out there and give him a foot, I'm sure. Because, boy, he just let that one get through. Smith will check in to run for Mike Jacobs at third. No one down here, and Mike Smith will be at the plate. There's Mike Smith. First pitch to Smith inside. Boy, you see Hall burned down that now. He's might overthrow here because he's really coming with the heat. There's no one down in the tying run over here at third. One oh pitch in the dirt. 2-0, nice snag there by the catcher, Darren Gayhart. As Hall's trying to overthrow here in the bottom of the seventh. <laughs> Mike Smith stands at the plate, waiting on the 2-0 pitch to come from Keith Hall. Here it comes. Call strike, and it's 2-1. Cat Wolf, 2-1. Two on pitch coming from Hall to Smith. Here's a shot out in center field. Collins with it. He'll camp under it. Oh, and he caught it. Runner a hole right here. And both Coach Hammonds is tore up. No excuse. Runner now scoring that time from third. One down. Runner stay at third now. With Barker up the bat. I'm sorry, Jerry Rattler. Jerry Rattler. Ryan should have scored there because that was about medium center field. And even the throw was well off target, but they had to take a perfect throw to cut down the runner. The Patriots blow a golden opportunity there on that one. So one down, we'll try to get it in in the bat of Jeremy Rattler. Attempted bun and missed. Golden opportunity missed by the Patriots on that play. Here comes the 0-1 pitch. Again, tip to butt, foul back. And Ratliff unable to lay the ball down here in the first two attempts. So it's 0-2 as Hall backs off the mound now. Oh, two pitch coming. Swung on, foul tip. The catcher dropped it. Throw down the first. Here comes the runner. In. Betsy Lane just gave that right away. Nice play that time by the guy here at third. The catcher just fooling around with the ball. As he flips it down, the runner breaks. So on a strikeout by Jeremy Ratliff, 
The run scores and we're all tied. Get that bat, yeah. boy. Two down, that'll bring up Todd Barker. That's I said earlier, Wayne. They love these extra inning games when you and I show up. So, Roger, you just have to wait with the news, looks like. Barker up now with two down, and we're all tight. <clears throat> yep. I hope he'll kind of move out from under the lights and not sit over under the lights while waiting on us. Swung on a miss by Barker. Oh, one pitch. He's up, slap to short. Shortstop up with it, cross the diamond in time. So we're one run in. We played seven and we're all tied, one one. <laughs> oh, you're not gonna believe this. What's going on? The neighbors got hacked again. Weird, we never get hacked. Nope, no we don't. This changes everything. Gearheart TV is available now. It's the digital TV service delivered to your smart TV or connected devices by Gearheart Broadband. Sign up now at mygtv.com. Channel 12, come over. We, we'll get them there. And it's all Manus Blair's fault behind the plate. So, Cindy, don't put the supper on warm yet because he's going to be a little bit longer coming home. But make sure the kids are bathed, tucked in the bed, just have, just have supper waiting for him when he gets home because he looks like he's put a rough afternoon in. I know he's taught hard today. He puts a rough day in teaching. Yep. And if you want to be a nice wife, meet him at the door and take his shoes off for him and pull his socks off, and he'll greatly appreciate it because he's put about 12, 14 hours in here today, and he's just not used to that. We go to the top of the eighth. Barry Clark lead things off. First pitch high. Ball one. Jarvis has pitched seven innings of well-pitched baseball, and if anybody deserved the break in the bottom of the inning, hit one was Jarvis Williams. 1-0 pitch. Inside, 2-0. First two pitches here in eight. Looks like he's trying to kind of overthrow. Seven innings is a long stint to pitch in high school. And here, Jarvis going into the eighth. Swung back. Foul back, rather. 2-1 one, one count to Barry Clark. Betsy Lane push one across in the fourth, and the Patriots push one across in the bottom of the seventh. That's where we at in the top of the eighth. Tied one one, one one pitch in the dirt. Two one, three one rather. Three one to Clark. No one getting loose for the Patriots. Three one pitch in the dirt. Ball four gets by the catcher. Clark a hustle on down to first. Betching Lane once time. I'm here at the concession stand. I see big Charles Barker out there. Two hot dogs. I'm sure there's no more left now. We'll just have to wait, I guess, till we go home. <clears throat> or stop. We'll stop at one of the friendly places here in town. And eat. That way you don't have to dishes. Coach Hammond's out on the field talking to his troops, telling them what to do. Pitch runner. What base to go? Yeah, my cook stays gone. I know, I know. You can look at me and they don't show, but my cook stays gone. That's right. She cooks and leaves it on the stove. That's right. There's always food on the stove in my house. And Paul, uh, don't forget to go in the. Since we got a little break here in action, go downstairs, go in the kitchenette, open up, and there's some of the best pickle corn that you ever laid your teeth into. If you have false teeth, you can take them out. You don't need teeth. To, no, this corn goes hit. It's that good. Hammonds has had his say back into the... Uh, R Roberts, the runner at first, and the batter of... ...with the dirt to lay one down. Pitch. Nope. 
first. So Roberts back in plenty of time. Throw back over to first, and Roberts, about three steps from the bag, has no trouble getting back in. Again, the first. That's three times in a row. That's Williams wants to keep Roberts closed. Dirk Newsom still standing at the plate. Dirk scored the only run here this afternoon for the Bobcats. Here's the pitch to Newsom. He lays her down. It's foul. <laughs> Instead of dragging it down the first baseline, he tried to push it down the third baseline, and he pushed it foul. One time we dropped. Figured he'd lay one down, try to get Roberts over. There's a pitch home. Swung on, foul down the first baseline, so it's 0-2. <coughs> oh 2 count to Newsom we see coming up the hallway. There's two that I have to keep up. Two out of four. I'm sure they've been out working real hard. We'll get a softball score as soon as they get, get up here. We'll see what's going on. All right, here's the 0-2 pitch. Coming. Newsom slaps it down to first. Fire. Wheels to second. Out. Nice play by Jacobs. He picked it up on the hop, wheeled and threw it to Emberg. at second and got the lead runner. One down here is... Derek Newsom will hang out at first. Boy, smart play that time by the first baseman, Mike Jacobs. He was about a step from the bag, and instead of stepping on the bag, he just wheeled and threw it to second and got the force out. Chris Newsom now, the left fielder up the bat with one down and one on. Here's the pitch to Newsom. Ball throw down by a couch, but back in time is Derek Newsom. Did we win or lose? Well, we'll not give that score. Here's the throw over to first and back in down. <clears throat> one down. One on here in the top of the eighth. We're all tied 1-1. One, one. That's Chris Newsom's at the plate. Dirk Newsom's over at first. There goes Dirk Newsom. Swung off, popped in the right fist, going to foul. Dirk is going to come around second. On to third. As Barker runs the ball out, I turn right field. And boys, Chris Newsom just stuck his bat out that time and a little flare out in the right field and time Barker got to it, it already fell in. So give a single to Newsom, Chris Newsom, and move Dirk Newsom over to third with only one down. So with a nice pitch that time by Jarvis Williams, had the pitch he wanted and Chris just laid the bat out there and a little flare out in the right field. Infield's in, Sumner in at third. The batter is Barry Collins. With two on and one down here in the top of the eighth, as Betsy Lane is trying to break his 1-1 deadlock. Here's a throw over to first. Another nice snag by Jacobs over. It's Wendell <clears throat> as Jarvis Williams kind of throwed up. Floater over to first. Here's the pitch home. Swung on and missed by Barry Collins. First and third, one down here in the top of the eighth. What kind of hitter is Collins? 220. Slugging percentage 250, so he's not what you call a contact hitter. Here's the old one pitch high and away. Couch will throw it down to second. Ambergia comes in, flips it back to third, not in time. So stolen base by Chris Newsom. Chris will be out at second now. Dirk at third. One down. One more in count to Barry Collins. It's the Patriots. Threw it around the infield that time, but unable to get anyone. Here's a pitch inside. 2-1. Two 
2-1 pitch coming. There's a shot to second. Smith can't handle it. Picks it up. Goes to first. He's out. Max Smith, they hit a shot to him, and he knocked it down. Picked it back up and threw out the runner first. The runner third had to hold. So two down. Two on, and that'll be Todd Akers will be up to bat. Nice defensive play by Smith that time. The ball hit off outside the first pitch. Ball hit off Smith's arm. You can see him holding it out there, and it's a line shot. And he just knocked it down and stayed with it and got held the guy third and threw the runner out at first. Here's a 1-0 pitch. 2-0 to Todd Akers. Akers, 151 better. Not had much luck here than that. He's 0 for 3. Outside, 3-0. We sure don't go back to top of order in Keith Hall. Hall's their best hitter on the on the season at 435. But it'll be 3-1 coming. Outside, ball four. And that'll load them up. And... Coach Newsom wants to talk to his pitcher, Keith Hall, before he stands in with the bases loaded. And we're tied 1-1 here in the top of the eighth. So uh, we kind of lost the game, Whitesburg, this evening. 22-4. The girls fell to the Whitesburg Gallo Jackets in softball. Letcher and White, that's about who I figured would be in it. Well, we had a bad afternoon. Call strike. Nice season, but a bad afternoon. The softball team, girl did. 0-1 pitch. 1-1 one, one as it stays low. And boy, it looks like Jarvis is just coming straight at her. Keith Hall. 1-1 one, one pitch. Hits him, and boy, you didn't want to do that. And that a force in a run as Hall gets hit with a 1-1 one, one pitch. And Dirk Newsom will try them. Let's see. Go ahead run here in the top of the eighth, but bases still remain loaded. And that'll bring up Chris Potter. Shortstop. I guess you could say Hall took one for the team, couldn't you? Stood right in there and took it. Oosley will be the runner for Hall. And boys, I'll tell you what, that's the only, right there is the only mistake that Jarvis Williams has made all afternoon. Only mistake he's made. It's a 1-1 one, one pitch. He just got too far inside and hit Hall in the leg. And that forced him to go ahead and run. There's a pitch to Potter. Outside. Ball one. one oh pitch coming. Here's a shot over the shortstop's head in the center field. Crashed up with it. One round in, and that hold everybody else. So two runs in here in the top of the eight. Base is loaded. And the runner, will, the batter, rather, will be Adam Gayhart, the second baseman. Uh, sharp single over the outstri outstretched glove of Amberge. It's short. Crashed up quickly with it. To only allow one run in. Pitch to Gayhart. Ah, outside ball one. Coach Hammonds wants time out to go out and talk to his pitcher. While he's doing that, let's take a break. We'll be right back. We live in a modern, connected world. Your smart home security system should keep pace with your on-the-go life, giving you a view of your home and the ability to control what happens at your front door as if you were there. The best deterrent, peace of mind, at home or away. Protect what's important to you. Enjoy the peace of mind that comes from a professional smart security system. He's gone with 
a wild woman. Mm -hmm. She said she's going to go down and stay with him the whole time. Hey, Paul, we got to get the pip a picture warmed up, so if you want to, take him that another break. Now well, you can run down there and get some of that pickled corn. Back here at the baseball field, Williams has called it. <laughs> Williams has called it afternoon after a fine performance here, and Hammonds is trying to figure out who's going to come in and pitch now. And is that Darren Turner? Darren Turner will be the guy that's going to come in and pitch. He's not got loose yet. As we're going to have a pitch runner also here at third. Boyd is going to come in and run for Acres with Acres to go back in. Base is loaded here. Two runs in and in and the Bobcats up now by 3-1. As Turner will throw a few pitches and get loose. Jarvis Williams, seven and two-thirds. The guy at third here, Boyd, a junior, not been any games. So he's probably just used as a designated runner. But getting back to Jarvis Williams, seven and two-thirds. Uh, boy, three-hit baseball. Uh, the only mistake he made, he hit Keith Hall here with the bases loaded in a 1-1 one -one count, and that's the only mistake he's made. Then the Chris Potter hit the only sharp ball hit off of him all afternoon was the one that Chris Potter hit to knock in Chris Newsom here for the second run in the top of the eighth. Three more pitches, Mr. Campbell says, and we're ready to go here. We remind you next week, district tournament action. Here in the 55th, it'll be Breathitt County and Riverside on Monday. On Tuesday, it'll be the North Central and Jackson City. On Wednesday, the Breathitt County, Riverside to face Cordia. And Thursday afternoon, we'll have the championship action. We invite everyone to come out here to the baseball field and watch some nice, competitive high school baseball. As Turner likes one more pitch, and we're ready to go. And Cindy, you just got to wait a little bit longer because we're in extra innings, and it's all Mr. Blair's fault. So just tuck the kids in and put supper on the back burner. He will be there shortly. <laughs> that way, Blair doesn't have to drive by. He's trying to get home in time. So Darren Turner now will be the pitcher, and he will, <coughs> he will face cleanup hitter Darren Gayhart. Here's the pitch. I'm sorry, it's Adam Gayhart. Instead of Darren Gayhart, that's Adam Gayhart. At the batter. 2 0. <laughs> 2 0 pitch. There's a slap to short. Amberg, you with it? Flip to Smith, and they get out of this one. But two runs in, and the Bobcats go out on top. 3 1. Fully wireless sensors mean easy installation without damage from drilling. One app gives you total control over every aspect of your home. The ultimate deterrent for porch pirates. Know exactly when you receive a delivery. You need security that is a fully integrated security solution. Encrypted end-to-end -end and professionally monitored. Enjoy the peace of mind that comes from a professional smart security system. The Patriots need two to draw even. We'll go to the bottom of the order and Darren Turner, then back to the top with Kraft and Ambergy. Hall struck out 13 here in the seven innings, and he's back out here for the eighth.
First pitch to Turner. Swung on and missed. Oh, one pitch coming to Turner. Darren Turner able to come in at the top of the inning, throw two pitches, and get Gayhart to hit into a fourth play at second. Since he replaced Jarvis Williams, he'll bat in Jarvis's batting order, which was Nat. 0-1 pitch. Shot first baseline. It's going to be foul. Can a first baseman get it? No, out of his reach. So it will run the count to 0-2 on Darren Turner. Need the Patriots to come back here and tie this one up with Jarvis Williams pitch seven and two-thirds of outstanding baseball here this afternoon. And on a 1-1 one -one count, hit Keith Hall to start everything. Here it's outside, 1-2. One-two two count coming to Darren Turner. And away, it's 2-2. Two -two. Two two count. And Darren has watched the last two behind away. Outside and it's three two. Full count coming to Turner. Swung on and fouled off to the right as Turner hangs tough. Two pitch coming again from Hall to Turner. Outside, no, strike three calls. Turner looked at that one. Make it 14 Ks on the afternoon for Keith Hall. Back to the top of the order now, and Harold Craft. Craft. Over three here this afternoon. Swung on, foul straight back up into the woods. Oh, gets the sign. Here's the 0-1 pitch. Here's a shot to right field. The right fielder two steps back. He'll gauge this one, put it away. Crave got good part of the bat on the ball, but it was right to the right fielder. Two down, and that'll bring Chris Hamburg up. Patriots need two to draw even here in the eighth. There's a pitch. Call strike. Fourteen Ks on the afternoon for Keith Hall. Here's a shot to first. First baseman up with it. He'll beat him to the bag. And that'll do it. No runs here in the eighth. And the Bobcats come out on top. Three to one. Let's take his break. And we'll be right back to wrap things up. <laughs> oh, you're not going to believe this. What's going on? The neighbors got hacked again. Weird. We never get hacked. Nope. No, we don't. Use your smart home speaker to arm and disarm the system. A full line of cameras for both indoor and outdoor areas. So you can keep an eye on your property no matter where you are. Get an early alert for water leaks before you lose thousands of dollars to expensive flood damage. One easy to use interface for your phone and the slimline touchpad. Enjoy the peace of mind that comes from a professional smart security system. See, Betsy Lane coming up with two runs in the top of the eighth after the Patriots have come up with one in the seventh to tie it to come out on top 3-1. In the fourth, the Bobcats pushed across one run. The Patriots unable to score until the bottom of the seventh. They scored one and tied it. Then in the top of the eighth, after seven and two-thirds of splendid pitching by Jarvis Williams, the bases were loaded, a 1-1 pitch, and he hit Keith Hall. On the inside pitch, and that was the deciding run here this afternoon. 
Keith Hall struck 14. Patriot batters out on the afternoon. And your final score, 3-2, Bobcats over the Patriots. I believe our next ball game here will be Saturday afternoon if Pikeville comes to town. If they play that, someone talked about they might have not play that one Saturday afternoon, but if they do come to town Saturday afternoon, we'll have it here for you on Channel 12. We'll remind you next week, come out and catch baseball action here as it's district tournament time. We'll start it on Monday and finish it on Thursday, and you can, if you're unable to come out, you can follow the Patriots right here on Channel 12. The games will start at 5.30 in the afternoon. But that about do it for the cameraman Jerry Madden. Wayne Fugit here running the dials until Saturday afternoon. It's all yours, Paul.